Less than a minute to go before the start of the final pursuit of the season. That particular crystal globe will be decided. Johannes Tingisbo has pretty much got both hands on it at the moment. He starts number one. Oh. Well, I was just about to say, he so often makes a mistake on the first prone. He can afford a couple of penalty loops. He's out. Still backing Jacqueline to get his five shots away before anyone else. Oh, oh. oh he's thrown five wide. Samuelson shooting well, and uh, he is going to move up into second place. Jacqueline missing shot number five. Uh, Perrault just tucked in behind him. The French uh, having a very good day in the women's race. First two smack in the middle. Third one just slightly over to the right. Back in the middle for four. Oh, oh, high dear left, dear. high left. So the second penalty loop. Jacqueline would often see this opportunity and just go absolutely rapid. On your marks, get set, go, bang, 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 and, uh, and try and close that gap straight away. Wow. Yeah, that's good shooting. That is good shooting. And from 40 seconds, we are coming down to under 20. It's getting interesting at the front. And Jacqueline smelling blood. Samuelson doing really well to hold things together. He looks rock solid. Yeah. That is how to do it. And that certainly will have registered with Jacqueline, who knows that he's going back to at least 30 seconds behind the champion. Make that 45. And Samuelson now has a chance to move up into the top two. When the pressure's on, the champions rise to the occasion. And Johannes Tingisbo has done it again. Sweden will be enjoying this. Oh, what a shame. Oh, what, what a shame. shame. Tadej Bo, absolutely astonishing. Is he going to get yet another podium? What a season it's been for him. Certainly the second best season he's ever had. That might set the nerves jangling. Oof. One more penalty loop. What a battle for the podium. Jacqueline nearest the camera. Perrault, Tadia Bo and Samuelson. Tadia will probably take his time and hope he oh. sees some red flashes. There's one. Perot, Perot goes five out of five. Samuelson goes five out of five. And Tadio Bo needs this quickly. No, he's thrown it wide. The pressure was on. The tactics on this occasion didn't work. Once again, we go back to Bo as he crosses the line. The overall crystal globe is his. And behind him, the sprint developing for second place. Samuelson on the right of your screen. Perot in the middle. It's neck and neck between the two of them. There'll be a photo finish. But Samuelson, the stronger, just as Ian suggested and Perot having to settle for third. But I think he'll be absolutely delighted to get another podium before the season is over. Pep Femling calling it a day. It's been a long, long career for Pep Femling.